Well, today is part of Fall Prevention Week, time set aside to raise awareness on the risk and serious injuries that can come with a fall, especially among elderly people in our community. Our Joe DeLeon joins us live right now in the studio. Joe, what are medical experts telling you? Yes, well, Derek, physical therapists are telling me many older adults that receive therapy because of falls often have very serious injuries, but the risks can be reduced. Unfortunately, falls are the leading cause of injury-related death for older adults. Jennifer Tripkin, the director of the Center for Healthy Aging with the National Council on Aging, says falls in older adults are the leading cause of injury and injury-related deaths, with one in four elderly residents experiencing a fall each year. A lot of risk with falls comes about because of age-related decline. That might include strength and balance issues. That might include hearing and vision loss. It also is a result of being on several medications, many of which are, are needed to be on, but they carry some side effects. Tripkin says there are ways to prevent a fall, like speaking to your pharmacist if you feel the medication you're taking makes you lose your balance. Talking with your physician or healthcare provider who can do a comprehensive exam and let you know where what are the areas that we can improve. But it could also be taking a self-administered quiz. Tripkin also suggests seeing a physical therapist if you're feeling weak to help strengthen your muscles. We recommend a team approach to falls prevention, um, and that includes physical therapists. It includes the whole healthcare team. It may include occupational therapists. It may include pharmacists as well as healthcare providers. Merlin Martinez is an occupational therapist in the Rio Grande Valley and says the majority of patients she sees have serious injuries. Most of the falls that we've seen cause, you know, hip fractures or traumatic brain injuries, shoulder, um, any kind of fracture that we see. Martinez says seeing a physical therapist can be a preventative way to combat a serious fall. If somebody is feeling weak, then I suggest going to their PCP, their primary care physician, and asking their doctor what it is that they can do to become stronger. And a lot of those times, you know, therapy is the answer, go, staying active. Now, Tripkin says walking daily or engaging in strength and balance exercises can also reduce your risk of a fall and prevent serious injuries. Working for you in the studio, I'm Joe DeLeon.